Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday. And I'm gonna be here with you today talking about being courageous. Now I know that being courageous might um, invoke things like knights in castles, saving damsels in distress, or um, perhaps being fearless and not having any worries or anxiousness about doing the right thing. But I thought I'd go at this slightly differently. Sometimes being courageous um, looks like saying sorry when you've done something wrong or asking for forgiveness. In this world, this current world, it's totally countercultural to be quick to say sorry. Often we put it off for ages, sometimes people put it off for years, and there's never that reconciliation. But in the Bible, it says, if we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us and to purify us from all unrighteousness. And it says that in 1 John 1 verse 9. And it encourages us to keep short accounts, both with God and with other people. If we've done something wrong, and we know we've done something wrong, regardless of how our pride stops us from <laughs> admitting it, even to ourselves sometimes, or um, we feel that we are, just can't say sorry because then we've you know, lost something, Actually, saying sorry and asking for forgiveness is so courageous, especially when you've done something wrong. You don't need to be defensive. You don't need to um, prolong that for any longer. It doesn't do anyone any good, least of all you. So I'd encourage you today, if there's somebody that you may have hurt or upset that you need to apologize to, just hold out that olive branch and say, look, I'm really sorry, I messed up. Or if there's somebody that needs to apologise to you, maybe reach out and say you forgive them anyway. We're all called to keep short accounts with one another and with God. He loves you. He wants the very best for you. And he knows that when you take that step, you are being courageous. Have a great day.